name is Miss B and I'm welcoming you to our third lesson on step-by-step -step with ukulele. You should have your ukulele tuned. You can do that with video one or you can do it on a ukulele tuner for, on Google. And you should make sure that you are holding it with your left hand on the neck and your right hand over the sound hole. It will look like we are opposite, but we will really be holding it the same way with left hand on top, right hand on the strum hole. Let's check your tuning by playing the sentence that names the strings. The sentence starts on the top. Good is on the top. Cats is going down. Eat is down again. Anchovies on the bottom. Let's play that sentence together. Good. Cats eat anchovies. Good. Now let's count the strings. When we count it, you start on the bottom. One is on the bottom, two is up, three is up again, four is on the top. Let's count those together. One, two, three, four. Nice, let's go backwards. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now let's remember the first chord that we worked on. The first chord is using the first finger on the first fret on the bottom string, the first string. And what was the letter name of that chord? C7, very good. C7 goes very well with Lime in the Coconut, but here's another song that you can play with C7. I wrote these words to go with it it's so fun and easy to do. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord with joy. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord, my soul. Now let's take a strum a little faster. In fact, let's go twice as fast. We could think one and two and three and four and praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord with joy. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord, my soul. Nice. Now I'm going to show you one more thing about strumming. It can go down, but it can also go back up down with your thumb, up with the finger, down, up, down, up. Let's do the song slowly with the down up strum. Gently brush. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord with joy. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord, my soul. Now let's take it faster. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord, my joy. Praise the Lord with instruments. Praise the Lord, my soul. Nice. Open and close that hand. Just relax it a little bit. And let's talk about just the C chord. The C chord was the third finger, one, two, three, on the third fret, one, two, three. And where's my thumb? Right behind my finger. It adjusts as you play different places. And I'm squeezing only touching the top and the bottom. Nothing else is touching. This is the C chord, and here's another song that you can play on the C chord. Alleluia, 
Let's try that double drum. Alleluia, 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 sing. Alleluia, 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 sing. Good, now let's try that down up strum. Down thumb, up finger. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, sing. Alleluia, 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 sing. A little faster. Alleluia, 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 sing. Relax that hand. Good. Now we're going to look at a new finger flex. You're going to understand why finger flexes are so important to get our fingers moving on the neck and to get them stronger. Great. Let's start on the fifth fret on the first string. What is the shortcut to finding the fifth fret? Fifth fret? The dot. There is the dot. But I'm not going to use my first finger. I'm going to use my pinky pinky on the first fret, on the fifth fret of the first string. Wow. And say after me, fifth fret. Now I'm going to change fingers and play fourth fret. And I'm going to say, skip three. And then I'm going to play the second fret with my first finger. And I'm going to say, this is second fret. Now go back up to the fifth fret with your pinky and let's play it slowly, not stopping. Say and play, ready, go. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. One more time. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Now play it on the second string. Reach up a little bit higher with your fingers. Let your thumb come down in the back and let's say it slowly and play it together. Ready, go. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Excellent. Now go up to the third string. The third string is what we're going to use today in twinkle. So this one's really important. Let your thumb be behind the finger and nothing else is touching except the one that we call out. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Nice. Last one on the top string. Reach that hand way up. You're, you're raising the wrist even higher and you're going to press with the pinky on the fifth fret. Ready, go. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Fifth fret, fourth fret, skip three. This is second fret. Great. Set your ukulele down for a second and rest it. And I want to show you how ukuleles can be a little different. You may be wondering why my ukulele looks bigger than yours, because it is. Most of you are playing on a soprano ukulele. 
and the body is a little bit smaller. Mine is called a tenor ukulele. They sound very similar, but the size is different. You hold them the same way. Tuners up by the ear, slant down above your belly button, and all of the strings are the same. Good cats eat anchovies. This size is the perfect size for smaller children hand, hands. And this size is very nice for adult hands, but it's also great for you to see what I'm doing a little bit more clearly. That's the main reason I'm using the tenor on the videos. Now let's go on to Twinkle. I've given your hand a little rest and let's review part one. All of the strings are open, so I'm not gonna touch anything on the neck. And I'm going to play and you play after me. Remember to play and say it. Third string, top string, bottom, top. Good, now I'm gonna put two lines together and then you play it after me. Third string, top string, bottom top. Good, now we're going to play the whole thing together, nice and slow and smooth. Ready, go. Third string, top string, bottom top great that should be very nice and smooth and then you can put the words with it here we go with the words on the third string twinkle twinkle little star nice here is the second part to twinkle you're going to be on the third string up here, count up, one, two, three. Move your hand up and down because you're going to move on the frets for the first time in your song. And you need to make sure that your thumb is on the third string over the sound hole. Now take your pinky and go to the fifth fret, fourth fret, Skip three, second fret, open. Then you play open with that. So it's fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. Play that with me. Pinky on the fifth fret. Ready, say, and play, go. Fifth fret, fourth fret fret, skip three, second fret, open. Now I'm only going to think skip three, I'm not going to say it. Again, play, fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. Good, and what are the words in the song that go with it? Start on the fifth fret with your pinky. How I wonder what you are. Beautiful. Practice that as many times as you need to. And now we're going to put that together with the first part. Let's say and play. Starting on the third string. Ready, go. Third string, top string, bottom top, third string, fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. Beautiful. Here it is with the words. Third string, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great. Those two parts together make up section one, and we're going to call that section A. So you have just learned section A of Twinkle. Practice it till it's perfect.
perfect. Great. Now I want to share one more chord with you before we end today. Chords are like words in ukulele. You always want to add more chords to your vocabulary. This is going to be the A minor chord. You're going to be on the second fret with the second finger, the long finger, and you're going to play the top string, the top string. And that is called A minor. Do you hear how the sound changed a little bit? It's not so happy. It's maybe a little sad. Sometimes you could think of it spooky. You could sing this, you could play this chord with Are You Sleeping? Let's try that first. And then I'm gonna show you one other song. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. That made Are You Sleeping sound a little sadder. Maybe he didn't want to get up that morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Practice these new things and I'll see you on lesson four.